Hi guys, and welcome back to our Basic Beside channel. It's Gary and Rianza here, and in today's video, we will going to learn about the family members in Bisaya, both in formal and informal situations. Before we start, guys, if you find our videos helpful, please put a like on them, as we really appreciate it. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So the first word we're going to teach you in Bisaya is the word for family. Family in Bisaya is familia. Family, familia. So I'll take a look at the family tree on the screen now. We've placed you in the middle. And first of all, we're going to start with your parents. So let's learn the words for parents in Bisaya. Parents, ginikanan in Bisaya. Parents? Guinea Canaan. On the left side of this tree, we have your father, and the formal name is Amahan. Father, informal, is Amahan. And then let's have a look at non formal settings we can use Papa or Tatai. So there's two you can use for informal settings. The first one is Papa, or the second one, Tatai. Moving across to the right, we have your mother. So let's learn the formal way to say mother in Bisaya. Inahan. The formal term for mother in Bisaya is Inahan. Mother, Inahan. Now, let's take a look at informal settings where we can use the word for mother, which are Mama, or you could say Nanai. Again, there are two words you can use in informal settings for mother, which are Mama or Nanai. Now, for the purpose of this video, let's assume you have four siblings. And now we're going to give you the word for sibling in Bisaya. Igsuun. Siblings, igsuun. Igsuun is the general word for sibling. So looking at the family tree, let's start from the youngest sibling on the left side. And the general term for the youngest sibling is Kinamanghuran. Youngest sibling is Kinamanghuran. Kinamang Huran means youngest sibling. We can expand this word to define the gender. So let's take a look how we would say the youngest girl. Kinamang Huran nga babae. Kinamang Huran nga babae means youngest female sibling. And then when we change it to mean the youngest male sibling, we can use Kinamanghuran nga lalaki. Kinamanghuran nga lalaki means youngest male sibling. So quickly recapping them terms. Kinamanghuran means youngest. We can use babae for female and lalaki is boy. The Basai word nga is used as a linker. It links the adjective, which is the kinamanghuran, to our noun, which is the male or the female. So nga is our linker here. Our next sibling is also someone who is younger than you. So the general term for a younger sibling is manghud. Manghood means younger sibling. Again, this term can be expanded for each gender. So let's see how that works this time. Younger brother in Bisaya is Manghood nga lalaki. Manghood nga lalaki. And for younger sister, it would be Manghood nga babae. Manghood nga Babae. So to recap, 
Manhood is the word for younger. And again, babae and lalaki are girl and boy, respectively, with the word na acting as the linker. So let's switch over now to the right side of the tree to check out the older siblings. First, we'll get the word for older sibling, which is Maguang. Maguang is the term for older sibling in Visaya. The same pattern can also be used here to define the gender. So, to make it an older sister, we use Maguang na babae. Maguang na babae, older sibling, which is a girl. Maguang na babae. And an older brother our older sibling, which is a boy, is Maguang nga lalaki. Maguang nga lalaki. Let's repeat this word one more time for older sibling so you can remember it. Older sibling is called Maguang. Maguang, older sibling. Or, to be specific, Maguang nga igsuun. On the right side of the tree, the last sibling you have is the eldest. So let's learn the general term for eldest sibling. Eldest sibling is called kinamaguangan. Let's try it again. Kinamaguangan. Kinamaguangan. Eldest sibling. Again, you can follow the same pattern to define the gender. So for eldest sibling which is a girl we can use kinamaguangan nga babae kinamaguangan nga babae eldest sister or if we want to use eldest brother it is kinamaguangan nga lalaki kinamaguangan nga lalaki eldest brother so let's repeat the word for eldest one more time. Eldest is kinamaguangan. Kinamaguangan, eldest. So all the terms we have just run through for the siblings are all used in formal settings. So now we're going to have a quick look at some of the informal words you can use for younger and older siblings. So let's start off with the younger female siblings specifically. For younger female siblings, some people used or most people used in die or die for short. Younger male siblings can be called do dong or dong for short. Be aware that some Filipinos have personal names which are already in die or do dong which could be confusing. Most of the time growing up in the Philippines we always say Indai or dudung when we refer to someone that is younger than us. When referring to an older female sibling or the eldest female sibling in an informal setting, we can use words like Ate or Manang. Ate or Manang used for informal settings for older females or the eldest female siblings. Or for older male or the eldest male siblings, we can use Kuya, Manoy, or Manum. So there's three you can use. The main one is Kuya, or you can use Manoy or Manum. And they are all informal situations. We have a few bonus terms which we're now going to teach you. So let's learn the word for husband and wife. Husband is Bana. Bana is the word for husband in Bisaya. And wife is Asawa. Asawa is wife. Anak Nga Babae, which means daughter, or changing that to son, we can say Anak Nga Lalake. Son. So guys, that's the end 
of the immediate family member terms in Bisaya. I hope you learned something today. If you did learn something guys, please put a like on our videos as it really helps the channel out. Don't forget to put any comments and suggestions down below. And as always guys, have a great day. See you in another video.